We shall learn to solve your questions from the chapter Problems on Ages in a simpler way. In this question, Ranjana and Rakhi's present age is 15 is to 17 and their ages after 6 years is 9 is to 10. To apply the shortcut, it's important to observe about who and ages at what point of time is being asked to find. To understand the key point, say in this question, we are asked to find Ranjana's age and her age after 6 years. Now, Ranjana is representing the number 9, which means our answer should be divisible by 9. Out of all the choices, only 36 is divisible by 9, hence D is the right answer. This is a very basic question from this model. Let's increase the complexity by a bit. We are given Samir and Anand's present age as 5 is to 4 and after 3 years, the ratio of their ages is 11 is to 9. Again, focus on the key point. We are asked to find Anand's present age. Anand is representing the number 4. So, our answer should be divisible by 4. 27 and 50 cannot be our answers as they are not divisible by 4. Let's find if it's 40 or 24. Anand is representing the number 9 after 3 years. Suppose if you thought 40 is the correct answer, see Anand is 40 today, after 3 years he is 43. 43 is not divisible by 9 Hence, 40 is the wrong choice. Let's validate 24 as well. See, Anand is 24 today. After 3 years, he is 27. 27 is divisible by 9. Hence, 24 satisfying both the conditions given in the question is the right answer. Before we get into the next one, let me prep you a little. So far, we have seen questions where after 3 years or after 6 years is given. Sometimes the question has both, that is 10 years ago and 15 years hence will be given to you. If both, that is going forward and going backward is given to you in the question, it should always be calculated from the present age. Let's understand this with an example. In this question, we have no clue about their present age. But 10 years ago, from now, A and B is 13 is to 17. And 17 years from now, 10 is to 11. Both 10 years ago and 17 years hence is calculated from the present age. We are asked to find B's present age. Now, unlike the previous questions, we are not given any information about the present age. Keeping the ratios as the reference from the first option, let's say B is 23 now. After 17 years, he turns 40. 40 is not divisible by 11, hence 23 is the wrong answer. From the second option, Say, B is 40 today. After 17 years, he will be 57. 57 is not divisible by 11. Hence, 40 is the wrong choice. Say, B is 27 today. After 17 years, he turns 44. 44 is divisible by 11. But, 
we cannot declare 27 is the right answer at this point of time. We need to check the other condition as well. That is, if he is 27 today, 10 years ago he was 17. 17 is divisible by 17. Hence 27 is satisfying both the conditions that are given in the question. Option C is the right answer. I hope you find the method helpful. I have given a couple of questions of the C model in the description below. Try and solve them. Also post your answers in the comment section below. Also check out my blog numbercrunchingskills.in for more content. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.